Hello and welcome to my channel. So we've been doing a lot of painting around here and we got a really nice compressor, but the issue that we're having, there's a bug in my face, God damn. So the issue that we're having is that we get a lot of water in here. So we can't see this with our own eyes, but there's actually water in the air. And that air enters the compressor and sends it to the tank. This air gets very, very hot, so it is a gas state. So once the air is in the tank, it cools down either in here or it cools down as it comes out. And when the air cools down, you may see it as mist coming out of your air nozzle. Now I'd like to cool down the air before it gets into the tank. And so the way I'm gonna do it is have a cooler behind this compressor, have the outlet of the pump go to that cooler and from the cooler out to a water catcher and from there to the tank. This is the main piece to this puzzle of trying to cool down the air. This is a cooler I got on Amazon. And then also I have this water collector right here. This is automatic since this is gonna be behind the compressor. I'm not gonna be able to easily access this. So it'll automatically drain any water that uh, fills up. This is the complete filtration system right here. And this is a filter with a regulator on it. So these two together may be overkill, but this is gonna go after the copper cooler that we have on our compressor. So this is not my compressor, but I have a compressor that is the exact same as this. Let me show you my setup. So this is the setup right here. And it is obviously tucked away in a corner in my yard somewhere. And as you can see, I have the copper pipes here. This is supposed to be my cooler, but obviously it's not doing enough, especially with the sun beating on it, it doesn't help. But I have it coming from the tank to this copper cooler, drains in the bottom and only to a regulator. I have no filtration, so obviously this is a no-no when it comes to paint. And I am gonna change this whole entire area to make this look nicer and be easier to service. So let me get this area cleared out. Okay, so you guys have a better view of what I have right now. So I got myself a temperature gun, so I'm gonna get the temperature of that outlet pipe right there, right now, and then turn on the compressor and see how hot it gets. Right now it's reading about like 87, 90. Go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, the temperature got pretty hot and that was only a minute of it running. So imagine this thing running for like five minutes, 10 minutes straight. Well, enough talking, time to drain the system and get this thing out. Okay, here I have my after cooler and I have this piece of C channel right here. I'm thinking of putting it right in front of the fan so that way it gets some air that gets pulled through the radiator and cools it down. So let me try to fabricate this bracket onto this compressor. All right, so this is all tacked together. Don't judge, I am using scrap metal from random buckets that we have. So this is not supposed to look the prettiest, but it's supposed to be functional. All right, so I went ahead and took out this, this fence wall thing that was here to make up more room for this area. Cause man, I really hated how tucked away this compressor was. But anyways, the bracket is now installed and painted. I went ahead and tried to get some red paint to match this compressor, but this compressor's faded. So it kind of doesn't match, but oh well, looks close enough. And I'm not gonna do a top bracket. I think the C channel kind of holds this in place very well along with this hose. So it should be okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and position this compressor back to where it was before. And I'm gonna take this copper setup that I have right here. I bought a board. I'm gonna lay that copper piece on the board and attach the, the filtration system to it.
And check this out, guys. This is all done. As you can see, I have my cooler right here. And earlier, I showed the temperature, and there's a huge temperature difference between up here and down here. So that hot air is getting significantly cooled, will cause condensation. All the water will get trapped in here. And with this thing running for like probably like, I, I guess five minutes, you could already see there'd be a puddle of water dripping down from this thing. So this thing is actually working very well. And here's my wall right here of even more cooler parts. And we can see we have our passive cooler that I used to use before this system. This was good, but not good enough. But I just left it there because, you know, the more you can cool, the better. And then we have the separators. So we have an outlet right here. And then we have a tube that goes all the way to the carport over there in the back of the backyard. See, we're under here and there's the outlet right here. And I guess the ultimate question is, does this work? I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. So in a video coming out soon, I am going to be painting my MR2. That's why it's in the backyard right here. And we'll pretty much ultimately be testing this system to see if the air stays clean. So stick around for that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.